Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Carly Keenan. Good morning, Central Oregon. Happy Friday. We've made it to the end of a week and a very snowy, cold one at that. Now, our road conditions this morning are reflecting that because we did get a lot of snow yesterday and overnight last night. Uh, you can see here, almost all of us are seeing snow-packed roads, except for Madras, probably in the best shape up there uh, in Jefferson County, up towards Warm Springs because they are at the lower elevation. So they're going to see warmer temperatures, but the parkway, I know this this picture is blurry, uh, but there is snow on the road when I drove in this morning. Uh, streets were okay. Really be careful on those back roads, but most of the main drags uh, are okay and going to be okay. But we're going to see this snow continue to fall. So be careful, especially Lava Butte, Lapine, Sisters over into the pass. Uh, and if you live in the southern part of the region. So what is going on here is we're seeing a few systems blow through the region. They're coming out uh, of the Gulf of Alaska, moving quite quickly. This is over the past three hours, and you can see uh, the majority of these systems are moving to our northeast. But here in Central Oregon, we are right in the middle, so we get to see all of them hitting us. So we're seeing uh, a lot of snow up in the Cascades. We are in that winter storm morning lasting until 10 p.m. tonight, uh, so the snow is going to be falling all day. The valley is seeing some rain, but of course, here we are up at higher elevations. We are going to see that snow. Now, as we get into uh, the rest of the day, this is what it is most likely going to look like. This is a live look out of the Redmond Airport. You can see even just from last uh, the last hour when I checked, it did not look this bad. So again, be careful. The snow is falling. You're definitely going to need to scrape the car. The windshield wipers are not going to work today. Uh, and it is also that sticky snow, kind of wet. Uh, so it's like I said, the wipers just aren't going to do it today, which I know that I do sometimes and uh, most of you might as well. As far as our temperatures go today, our peak temperature of the day is 42 degrees coming out of the northern part of the region. Our lows tonight, it's going to be cold. Nothing crazy, nothing that we haven't seen earlier in the week. It's pretty consistent with what the lows have been for the majority of the week. But tomorrow, I'm happy to report, we are seeing a slight warming trend. Now, it's nothing drastic, but we are going to be ranging anywhere from those low 40s to low 50s. Warm Springs leading the pack at 52 degrees there. So it should be a, a decent day tomorrow once we can get all of that snow cleared out. You can see here on our future track exactly what I'm talking about the majority of today. Here we are with all of that snow lasting all day. You'll see some bits of clearing, some breaks in the clouds there. But like I said, that winter storm warning is in effect until 10 p.m. tonight. So very snowy conditions. Great news if you want to hit the slopes. You can see the spine of the cascade there getting the majority of the snow, even taking us into Saturday. But the rest of us see this break and see some clearing as we head throughout the rest of the day on Saturday. So like I mentioned, uh, uh, should be a decent weekend until we hit Sunday because look at that. We see the potential for some more snow and precipitation to return. Taking a look at our seven day forecast, you can see this warming trend, our temperatures going up, including our overnight lows. We're going to spring forward as we head into Sunday, which is great news in my opinion. Uh, but as we get into the rest of this week, you see the chance for rain, cloudy skies, and things don't clear up until mid next week.